Turning back to the latest developments on the botched gun running operation Fast and Furious, the Justice Department dumped more than 600 pages of documents on congressional investigators the night before the crucial testimony from Assistant Attorney General uh, Lanny Brewer. Fox News correspondent William Lajeunesse joins us now and has details. William? Well, Lou, those documents will help lawmakers assess culpability, as you mentioned. And while the Justice Department originally raised evidence of a second gun-running case to blame the Bush administration and say, see, they did it, well, and that now appears to be backfiring. I regret that in April of 2010 that I did not draw the connection between wide receiver and fast and furious. And moreover, I regret that uh, even in early of earlier this year that I didn't draw that connection. Assistant Attorney General Lanny Brewer became the first high-ranking official to admit the U.S. allowed gun walking, the controversial practice of watching smugglers take weapons into Mexico. Did you ever inform the Attorney General Holder or Deputy Attorney General about it, and if so, when, and if not, why not? I cannot be more clear. If I'd known then what I know now, I, of course, would have told the Deputy and the Attorney General. Wide receiver was an operation during the Bush administration, similar to Fast and Furious under the Obama administration, where illegally purchased weapons entered Mexico instead of being stopped by the ATF. Documents show Brewer and others knew about it last year. Been thinking more about wide receiver, wrote Deputy Attorney General Jason Weinstein in April 2010. ATF headquarters should or will be embarrassed that they let this many guns walk. I'm stunned. As the investigation enters its 10th month, the blame game grows more intense. In this investigation, as best of my knowledge, we didn't let guns walk. ATF Phoenix Chief Bill Newell testified he did nothing wrong. The former ATF director said he never read his memos. Attorney General Eric Holder claims he didn't know about the operation's controversial tactics. And while more than two dozen lawmakers want Holder's resignation, others just want a little honesty. Lanny Brewer's uh, statement uh, said he told the Attorney General in January or February. Uh, so that doesn't jive. So we've just got a mass of contradictions here. Now, the document dump, uh, the media receives selective documents. Much of those lay the blame on Assistant U.S. Attorney Emery Hurley, and he said he had no chargeable offenses in Fast and Furious, even though 600 guns have been illegally bought early in the case. He also claimed that the ATF never purposely walked guns, even though agents testified they did. Lou, the bottom line is the ATF and Maine Justice wanted a big splash, big case, a lot of guns and headlines, and many feel they just went this go on too long. Lou? Well, with uh, 200 Mexican citizens dead as a result of these guns, uh, through the ATF and Justice Department's uh, irresponsibility here. There's no question that they let it go on too long. Well, what is the question, it seems to me now, William, is Lanny Brewer, Assistant uh, uh, Attorney General, uh, testifying before the United States Congress, and he brings in Operation Wide Receiver without making a couple of very important distinctions and trying to conflate the two. One of those uh, distinctions is certainly no one died in Operation Wide Receiver, we're talking about two federal agents dying in this instance, and secondly, 200 Mexican citizens dying. Uh, and then further, uh, the Justice Department kept track of all of those guns and wide receiver. And two critical differences, Lou. Number one, scale. Obviously, Fast and Furious, 2,000 guns, uh, wide receiver, 400 guns. Secondly, they made no attempt to stop guns in Fast and Furious. Agents testified. In wide receiver, they did try and several times failed, and they told us the country of Mexico, and Mexico never showed up. So Fast and Furious was an operation where they tried to do it and failed. Fast and Furious, they never tried. Well, well did anyone call him uh, Lanny Brewer uh, in trying to conflate those two issues? He was, he was appearing as a political officer, not a, mm -hmm. uh, an, a, uh, an official of the U.S. Justice Department, for crying out loud. Well, you know, the question is, you know, did he, did he not have an obligation to tell the Attorney General? But more importantly, listen, it's like I'm telling you, Lou, that these guys screwed up in Arizona and wide receiver, and you go, oh, my God. And at the same time, you're getting information that they're doing fast and furious. Wouldn't you put two and two together, bring them in and say, hey, guys, you screwed this one up. You're not doing it again, are you? And, and he testified he never asked that question. Many people find it implausible to believe he didn't ask, weren't you also allowing this to happen in Fast and Furious? Dr. Yeah, I, and uh, I assume that we'll see more of Mr. Brewer on Capitol Hill based on that performance. Thank you very much, William Lajeunesse.